My name is Marcy Yates, I'm the founder, uh, the owner of Culture House. I'm a hip hop recording artist and a music producer as well too. Marcy's inspiration for starting Culture House was to create a safe space in Omaha for artists, creatives, and community members, since there was no place for artists and creatives to cultivate their talents in a safe space. One thing about us, you know, being black led, um, being in a uh, predominantly black community that has uh, so much history, you know, um, but talent. So one thing I always want to do is make sure that we are, you know, representing, but always showing that representation, um, A, of black art, but just black excellence. Just being, to, being able to provide a space, um, exposure, um, resources, networking opportunities, um, being able to, you know, break new artists in or um, just help them, you know, gain resources to help them go to the next level. Um, I, I wouldn't say one individual. I think that just pieces of, of things that I've experienced or saw. Um, and then when the feeling needs, you know, it just kind of just came under one, like under one roof though. So it was nothing that I saw that was like this. You know, if, if this is your vibe, if this is something that, you know, um, you can, something you can get out of it, then, you know, it's just for you. Uh, I think the fact that a lot of doors were closed, right, as an artist coming on the scene, uh, trying to come up on the scene and, and, and want the best for the, for, the, for the arts and music scene, for it to be taken serious, for to show that like, hey, you know, people in Omaha can, 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 you know, do this, right? Um, it's always a stigma like, oh, Omaha, you know, music, da, 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 Omaha, this and that, right? People always hating on it all the time. So like, it was always a mission to, to like kind of trump that. Right. Culture House was recommended for the Ensuring Economic Recovery Act, and with the money they receive, they will expand the building they're in now and also purchase adjacent properties to create other businesses, such as a pizza shop. When Yates was asked why a pizza shop specifically, he said, So, um, pizza is one of the, uh, one of the most eaten foods, right? Period. You know, uh, so many people eat it, so. Uh, for me, I feel like it's a no-brainer, right? Um, it's something that can feed families. Uh, it can feed uh, schools, functions. It can feed businesses. Um, you know, it's good for lunch, dinner. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I love pizza. So I feel like, you know, it's, a, it's an easy win. Yates wants to address food insecurities, health and wellness, and affordable and livable spaces. Many major pizza chains won't deliver to North Omaha due to the red line that still exists. In fact, the closest pizza chain is 6.2 miles away from Culture House. Culture House is trying to abolish this red line by calling out corporations and their discriminatory practices while also working around it. I like to think like, well, what can we do? What can I do? More than like, you know, what, what we can't do. So do what we can do, but point out the issues and the problems, you know, but still move forward. And again, we are in what we call a, a food desert, right? And food desert just mean that there's just not access to, you know, food like normal communities have. Culture House left their doors open in 2020, and with the unfortunate events that took place, they became a center for activism and a safe space for protesting. It, it all came with it, you know, stepping up and um, stepping into and just ready, you know, to, to, to help out or, you know, support you know, the community. In the wake of the George Floyd, you know, incident. There were protests that were going on here, um, demonstrations, and uh, we had a um, we had a young boy, James Scurlock, who was who was murdered um, downtown during a uh, protest. So um, we felt that justice wasn't 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 served, um, but also, you know, protesting is a thing that has um, gone on for a period of time. One of the first protests was the Greensboro sit, in which was four black college men who sat down at a white food service counter and ordered food. This initial protest led to the formation of the civil rights group, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, also known as the SNNCC. Folks are gonna, you know, stand up and, you know, they're gonna uh, fight for what's right. Folks here were kinda getting treated badly, you know, um, got to get, getting harassed or, you know, getting beat up or whatever, right? You know, and it's just because they weren't following along in the lines. But of course, you know, the you know, police wasn't, you know, doing things, you know, 100% um, correct either. Culture House held workshops on how to peacefully protest. They also led protests and taught people what to do and who to call if something happened. 
Additionally, they became a space to take a break from protesting, hydrate, refuel, tend to any wounds, and in general, let people take care of themselves. Organize it and, and do it in a way that it was uh, supported, just like citywide, you know what I mean? So yeah, it definitely had an impact. And from that, uh, several other youth organizations or other organizations have like, you know, um, started, have developed um, a lot more DEI. Uh, programming has happened since then, you know what I'm saying, and World Deaf and Black Gay was at the forefront of that, without a doubt. Culture House appeals to not only the Omaha community, but the Nebraska artist and black community as well. I would say that you have to, you have to experience it for yourself, right? Um, again, there's, there's always these stigmas, and, and so I always say there's a lot to offer, there's a lot of talent um, between here and, and, and Lincoln. Um, just give it a chance though, right? You know, just give it a chance and embrace it, support it. Um, these things can't grow unless it's, it's supported, you know, and we have to support it, we have to cultivate, um, so. By talking with Marcy Yates, we learned that the red line is still a pressing issue that needs to be addressed. And Culture House is working to abolish this red line one artist at a time. Because it's not about what we can't do, it's what we can do, as Yates said. And it seems like we've been down this road before. Hey, it's one way on a dead end. My best guess is a death threat away from being underappreciated. Away from the plans, baby, we have deviated. A caveman's in the ways I communicated. I've seen the worst, the worst. Could you look alive looking forward to good times? I decide to push aside my good intent. Please don't insult my intellect. Out show respect when you disconnect. Neglect your person. On grata, it's Hakuna Matata during my stigmata. No worries, cause bleeding never hurt nobody. Hey, hey, except for the vein type, oh you negative. Don't need a donor, baby. That's the way it is. It is Ghost in the wind, most like posing with them. Low smoke like gone with the wind. Game tight, we opposing the wind. Game tight like, game tight like.